rabbits. Small passive mobs that mind their own business as they hop their way around the overworld. Is there much to know about these bouncy little fellas? Well, let's find out. Rabbits spawn in a wide variety of biomes in the overworld, including deserts, mega tiger, cold tiger, ice plains, and flower forests. They can spawn with one of six different furry coats. However, this does actually depend on the biome they've spawned in. Snowy biomes will have a very high chance to spawn a rabbit with white fur, and a small chance to have a rabbit spawn with black and white fur. Rabbits spawning in desert biomes will be guaranteed to spawn with gold fur. The other biomes will commonly spawn rabbits with brown fur and salt and pepper fur, and a very low chance to spawn rabbits with pure black fur. In the Bedrock edition of Minecraft, all albino rabbits are replaced by white rabbits with black tipped ears. I wish the Java edition had this one as they look super cute, gosh! They usually spawn in groups of up to three, consisting of one adult and with one or two babies. Rabbits spend their time simply hopping around in random directions. They can very easily be frightened and will tend to avoid any nearby players and most hostile mobs when they come too close. If rabbits come close to any nearby unharvested carrot crops, they will very cheekily tend to eat away the carrots, but not destroy the plant entirely. Both adults and baby rabbits only have an ever so measly one and a half hearts of health across all difficulties. Due to their passive nature, if they are attacked, they will most definitely not attack. I'm not sure how anyone could look them in the eyes and attack these adorable little bouncy things. But if you were to do the unthinkable, they will of course drop a small amount of experience and can also drop up to one rabbit hide and one raw rabbit. And if you really want to take your rabbit murdering up a notch, killing them with fire will cause them to drop up to one cooked rabbit. Eating a cooked rabbit will restore two and a half hearts of health. Hope it was worth it. Cooked rabbit can also be used in a recipe to create rabbit stew. This hearty meal restores a solid five hearts of hunger, the best single thing to eat in the game besides cake. And I'll be sticking to cake. If you were to indeed light up a poor little rabbit, they will swiftly source the nearest pool of water to stop themselves from burning to death. Not that they have very long to do so with their extremely low health. They also have a very low chance to drop a rabbit's foot, which can be used in a brewing stand in conjunction with a water bottle to create a mundane potion, or used with an awkward potion to create a potion of leaping. And unfortunately for rabbits, wolves will actively try to track down and hunt them. However, hunted rabbits will still have the chance to drop their hide and meat, which wolves of course won't consume in game. Rabbits will not drop a rabbit's foot this way. Rabbits are one of the animals in Minecraft that are blessed with the ability to be forcefully bred. This can be done by using carrots and will reward a small amount of experience. You can also breed them by using golden carrots too. Believe it or not, you can also give two separate adult rabbits dandelions in order for them to breed. Ah, such romance. Baby rabbits commonly adopt the same type of fur as one of their parents. However, there's a very small chance that they will spawn with the respective colored coats of the biome they spawn in. And after about 20 minutes, a newborn will grow into an adult rabbit. Feeding the baby's carrots, golden carrots, or dandelions will accelerate their growth time. Like other animals, rabbits can be named with a name tag. To do this, simply drop the tag in an anvil to rename it, followed by using it on a rabbit. If you rename the tag to Toast, correctly spelled of course, using that tag on a rabbit will actually change its fur to this unique Black Dutch rabbit appearance. These Black Dutch rabbits cannot pass on their coloured genes to their offspring, but behave exactly like a normal rabbit would. A video on rabbits in Minecraft would not be complete without mentioning the infamous Killer Bunny. Yes, Bunny, not Rabbit, although it did previously go by the name of the Killer Rabbit of Kayanabog, which is a reference to the 1975 movie Monty Python and the Holy Grail. In this film, a group of unique knights come across a little bunny rabbit that they soon find out to be extremely prominent in the art of killing. Yeah, quite a good film actually, I recommend it. Although Minecraft's Killer Bunny is visually similar to rabbits, it may as well be an entirely separate mob, which it kind of is. They're most distinctive for their horizontal spooky red eyes, much like the one from the Holy Grail. They feature a decent two and a half hearts of health on easy difficulty, four on normal, and six on hard, but also boast a nice armor rating of eight points. They of course don't earn their name without being a hostile mob and do provide a somewhat low to medium level of challenge in combat, sadly. But if they do land a hit on you, 
you'll definitely know about it. However, they should be quite easy to avoid as they move at the same speed as the rabbit, and they can still actually be hunted by wolves. It is indeed unfortunate that a killer bunny cannot naturally spawn and can only be summoned by using a command and can only be done so on the Java edition of Minecraft. I know, it's a bit of a bummer. But you are able to summon as many killer bunnies as you please, all of which spawn with their title above their head. And note that they can also actually be forcefully bred and can make baby killer bunnies. How is this still adorable to me? If you wish to know more about another mob or even item, as always, please throw your suggestion down in the comments and it could very well result in its own episode. But yet again, that brings us to the end of this episode, one that cannot end without the trivia question. Do tamed wolves hunt nearby rabbits? Mm -hmm.